On the Earth's surface, it's easy for us to take the air we breathe for granted. But in an underground coal mine, air is a resource that must be maintained to ensure a safe working environment for all of us. Without adequate air movement or ventilation, the modern underground coal mine could not function. And thus, it is very important to our well-being that good ventilation practices and procedures are followed. A good ventilation system provides you with, one, an adequate supply of oxygen that is available to you at all times. Two, it will dilute and render harmless toxic and or explosive gases. And three, and finally, it will make your working environment more comfortable. Since your livelihood is dependent upon proper ventilation techniques, the Code of Federal Regulations and your mind's ventilation plan have set certain requirements that must be met for proper ventilation and continued safe operation of the mine. It's important that you and your buddies be familiar with company and federal regulations. Understanding these basic ventilation regulations and requirements could make a difference in the continued safe operation of the mine. Federal regulations have established minimum air requirements for safe face ventilation plans. They are one, a minimum of 3,000 cubic feet per minute of air must reach each working face when coal is being cut, mined, or loaded. Two, a minimum of 9,000 cubic feet per minute of air must reach the last open crosscut of any set of developing entries or any set of rooms. This also applies to the intake end of an active pillar line in secondary mining. And three, for dust control, a minimum mean air velocity of 60 feet per minute is required of exhaust face ventilation systems. In a further effort to suppress dust, water sprays are mounted on all continuous miners. Federal regulations and safe operating practices also require that gas checks shall be made before equipment is moved into a working place. And examinations for methane shall be made during the operation of equipment in the face area at intervals not to exceed 20 minutes during each shift, unless more frequent checks are required due to the conditions. To lessen the possibility of a mine explosion, Federal regulations have set standards concerning the use of rock dust. The law states that all areas of the coal mine be rock dusted to within 40 feet of all working faces except in areas where the coal dust is too wet to cause an explosion. These federal codes were made to protect you and lessen the chance of mine explosions. But like any law, they are only as good as those who follow them. It's up to you, the professional miner, to see that these and other good face ventilation practices are maintained. The ventilation plan at Wabash Mine has two primary systems of face ventilation. One is mining coal with the use of an exhausting auxiliary fan with tubing. And two, is mining coal with the scrubber miner system and a blower curtain. When utilizing the exhaust auxiliary fan with tubing, remember, tubing must be maintained within 10 feet of the deepest face penetration. The first cut should be taken on the tubing side in order to maintain the tubing within its proper distance to the face. And three, the 60 feet per minute mean air velocity must be maintained for dust control. The 60 feet per minute mean air velocity can be calculated 
by using the pitot tube reading and dividing the reading by the corrected area of the entry or cross cut. Remember, the corrected area is the area of the entry minus the area of the tubing. On a unit which utilizes the scrubber miner system with the blower curtain, you must follow these operating procedures to be in compliance with the ventilation plan. 1. The blower curtain must be maintained within 25 feet of the deepest face penetration. 2. A minimum of 6,000 cubic feet a minute of air must be maintained behind the blower curtain. And 3. The first cut should be made on the curtain side in order to maintain the curtain within its proper distance. The scrubber miners are becoming more and more popular in Midwest coal fields as dust capturing or suppression systems because they provide better face ventilation and dust control. Other key factors in proper face ventilation for either system is the proper utilization and installation of pull through and check curtains in directing the air up to the face area. Check curtains are a good means of controlling air but they offer no flexibility for mining machinery to pass through. Therefore, the check curtain's greatest assets are in places where equipment will not be passing through on a regular basis. In entries and cross cuts, where a lot of equipment tramming is involved, the pull-through curtain becomes an essential part of air control at the face area. Improper installation will increase the chances of methane buildup. Therefore, providing the elements for a possible mine explosion. It's important to have the curtains tight against the ribs along with the proper top to bottom links. On pull through curtains there should be a distinct overlapping pattern. Again, face ventilation controls are only as effective as you make them. A good mine ventilation system is not limited to just the face area. The system starts with the first block or tin that is set in the first stopping of a mine or starting unit. Masonry work at an underground mine is similar to the arteries in your body. If there is a problem with an artery not getting blood to a portion of your body, that portion or limb will die because of lack of food and oxygen. Without good masonry work, air or oxygen cannot be carried to a portion of the mine. And like your body, that portion or unit cannot function without air and must be idled until the air is restored. Masons and the work they do are an essential part of any mine ventilation system. The out by ventilation system in a coal mine consists of stoppings, overcasts, airlock doors, man doors, regulators, and seals. It's essential to your working environment that each of these ventilation control devices are properly constructed. Some simple points to remember to ensure maximum ventilation and safety for you are 1. When constructing stoppings, you should seal the walls tightly against the roof, ribs, and bottoms and use sufficient amounts of sealant on the stoppings. And it's important to make sure the sealant is on the high pressure side of the stoppings. Two. When installing a man door, make sure the man door will open to the higher pressure side of the stopping overcast or regulator. In this manner, the higher air pressure will help keep the man door closed tightly and thus help to eliminate any possible air leakages through the man doors, providing you and your buddies with the maximum ventilation possible. Also, remember that the intakes are the highest pressure and the returns are the lowest. So there should never be a door that opens towards the returns. 3. When passing through a man door, remember to pull the man door completely closed. In some areas of the mine, leaving a man door open has the potential to reverse the air in a portion of the mine, which could have disastrous results. 4. When cutting and constructing an overcast, 
There should be an equivalent height over the overcast as to the height of the entry or coal seam. Also, when tying the wing walls of the overcast into the ribs, care should be taken that the seal is airtight. This is also true for sealing the top of the conventional overcast. Five. If you're installing a pipe through a ventilation device, make sure you seal around the pipe as tightly as possible. Do not leave open holes around the pipes. Any holes that are left will mean a loss of useful air. And six. Proper installation of seals in an underground coal mine is essential. The seal must last the life of the mine and must control any air or gas flow into and out of the sealed off area during high and low barometric changes. All seals will have the tendency to release gases from the sealed off area. Therefore, you must construct and plaster the seals as tightly as possible to minimize the release of harmful gases when the barometric pressure drops. The seals and timbers or cribbing have to be substantial enough to control any possible crushing action on the seals. A poorly constructed seal has the potential of gassing out the main returns of a coal mine, a dangerous situation that will close the mine down until corrective actions have been taken. Seal construction is one of the most important jobs you might have at a coal mine. Finally, remember that each ventilation device utilized at Wabash has a specific function and is important to the overall safe operation of your ventilation system. The ability of the ventilation system to provide fresh air to you is directly related to the construction quality used during installation. A system is only as good as its weakest or strongest link, you. Don't take the air you breathe underground for granted. You must do your part to help control and direct it to where you are and where you're working. Remember, it's your life that depends on it. A good ventilation system is up to you, whether you're a person going through a man door and properly closing it, or the mason who professionally constructs the permanent ventilation structures, or a person on a unit who takes the time to properly maintain the tubing, line, check, and pull through curtains. A good ventilation system is everyone's responsibility.